wanted to capture this um, before I put the uh, museum away, but I added the a second middle floor here to the boutique hotel. Um, I really love the way the the height it gives it to uh, in comparison. Uh, I think it looks great across uh, from the museum, especially with that third floor. Still a little shorter, but I really, really do love that extra floor. I think it really gives the boutique hotel a majesticness that it needs. Hey folks, welcome to Eclipse's Bricks. Time for a, a city update. Stay tuned. As you saw from the opening clip, uh, I did add that third floor, or third floor, the second middle floor to the boutique hotel. Um, the other thing I did is I finished off the um, top railing along the roof element. Um, I think that finishes off really nice. Really love the way it uh, it looks. And also, I did change that orientation, which was uh, a couple of people's comment, um, and I agree. I think it just I think this view of the boutique hotel um, just looks fantastic. It's so much interest. Uh, you may have also noticed uh, <laughs> I have not made any progress on the wine bar, but that is next on my list after this update. Um, and for those of you who've seen my other videos, I have made some progress on the um, uh, Botanical Gardens mock. Just taking real quick view, some lighting here. Um, so that's coming along nicely. I'm really happy with the progress. Um, I'm thinking uh, one more update and then I should have this front section all completed. Uh, but let's get to the matter at hand today. And I think what that is, is let's deal with some roads. Um, again, I've had some comments um, Though, given my small space, that I really shouldn't waste it with roads, and I don't uh, disagree with you. I actually do agree with you. However, since I've never had any kind of space, um, I really wanted to at least try my hand at building roads just to see what it looks like, kind of get a feel from it. Although, and then have it, you know, in the short term, uh, have some roads in the in the layout. But long term, I have some other ideas. And <laughs> spoiler, the roads may or will likely go away to some extent. Um, I've got some ideas. So, so uh, let's move over to the table and keep going. All right, I've gathered my parts. Uh, I'm going to repurpose these ballast train tracks I had done. I was going to do something else with them, but um, if I decide to go with that project in the future, I'll just rebuild them. But uh, we're gonna start with here. I'm gonna take these apart. You know, most people add a sidewalk with their road plates, uh, but I'm thinking I'm not going to do it. I don't have, since we don't have a whole lot of room um, and I am using these, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it pretty close to the edge of the, of the base plate. Um, so let's get to it. I may have to extract kitty or two though first. Well, I didn't get as far as I had hoped. Um, I was planning to do one more plate, but I kind of ran out of parts, um, or at least I need to find some more. Uh, 
you know, it, it's interesting. I knew from other watching other YouTubers and content creators and whatnot that building roads and train tracks and stuff took a lot of parts, but <laughs> I don't think until you really do it for yourself, um, you realize exactly how many parts <laughs> it takes. Um, it just, it really adds up fast. I'm, I'm sure I have more parts of just what I had pulled out on, on hand. Uh, it just ate them all up. Uh, also, I ran into another issue. I can't put another stretch of track here because of the the little nubs. Um, I need a, I need something flush because the nubs extend up from the track extend over. They overlap the edge of the track or the edge of the base plate. So they basically they're, I'd have to pull the whole, everything away from the wall a little bit. So my thought is I'll probably just use some flex track and go you know whatever three three odd pieces um, and then just leave a gap maybe I'll make a fake tunnel or something we'll see um, also I just since I had the parts I used the um, lights and traffic lights that come in the uh, in the road packs I'm really happy with the with how this is uh, turned out other thing you'll notice is I did not extend sidewalk at all, so I put the roads right up against the modulars. Um, I can see why some people change their, their sidewalk colors on the modulars to light blue-gray to give a bigger contrast. Um, I'm okay with the way this looks. I mean, especially since I don't have, um, or I'm not expecting this to be permanent, uh, I think it works for, for right now. Uh, I am going to make kind of a nicer curb here um, on the on the train track side uh, and then I also want to do um, a terminus here on the end of the track so the track will not go the full length well thanks for watching uh, please uh, let me know what you think uh, leave a comment uh, if you're enjoying my videos, I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I got a lot more planned. And uh, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Uh, with that, thanks everybody. And uh, I'll see you all next time where I do have this on my on docket. So uh, we should have a, a wine bar update coming up soon.